Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to another video on ForgottenWeapons.com. I'm Ian McCollum, and I'm here today at Morphe's taking a look at a pair of Italian Balila youth training blank firing carbines. Uh, there are several manufacturers of these, uh, and these two in particular were manufactured by the Grazian brothers of Verona. Verona being a city in northern Italy, kind of in between uh, Venice and Milan. So these go back to the mid-1920s. Uh, when Mussolini took over in Italy, he wanted to create a fascist culture throughout all of Italian life. And one of the things that he did to further that goal was to basically shut down all youth groups, um, all youth organizations, and replace them with one of his own, the ONB, the National Balila Organization. Uh, Balila is the sort of the colloquial name for uh, a historical figure, uh, a kid who in 1746, allegedly, uh, according to legend, uh, launched a revolution or revolt against the Habsburgs in Genoa. Uh, got them kicked out of Genoa, retaken for the Genoese, and a, a folk hero, basically. And he was a little kid at the time that this took place. So if you're going to come up with the Italian fascist youth organization, Balila is a perfect, you know, an appropriate person to name it after. Now, uh, this was, it's very similar to Hitler Youth, it's very similar to uh, highly politicized Boy Scouts, basically. Uh, it was an organization intended for uh, boys aged 6 to 18. There was uh, a series of similar youth organizations for girls as well, but they didn't have the military training aspect that the boys organization did. Now these were intended for kids, I see varying numbers, uh, up to age probably about 12, as basically you know, you're going to do a variety of activities in this organization, and one of them is going to be learning how to handle a rifle and doing military drill, because this is intended to be your starter to eventually joining the Italian army. And but you don't necessarily want to be trying to instruct a battalion of ten-year-olds with rifles, so instead they gave them blank firing guns that are in fact really highly detailed copies of actual 1891 Carcano carbines. And that's what we see here today. Now like I said, there were several different manufacturers, and these are both Gracian Brothers manufacturer. So one early, one late. Let's go ahead and take a closer look at them. To put these in perspective, uh, here are our two Balilas, and this is a, a basically a standard pattern uh, of the cavalry carbine that they're modeled after. This is the M38 with a different sight, but as far as uh, size, you can see the substantial difference in size. They are, however, remarkably accurate copies of the real Carcano carbines. Now these were designed to fire blanks, but they look like real cartridges. So uh, unfortunately I don't have a clip or blank ammunition to show you. That stuff is way scarcer to find than the actual guns. But what they did was basically make a similarly scaled down version of the Carcano clip and cartridge. It only held five rounds instead of six, and what it was was like a four millimeter blank firing primer uh, component that was put into a what looked like a scaled down 6.5 Carcano cartridge. So it looks like a clip of ammunition, but they don't actually have a projectile. The barrels on these are actually generally 65 millimeter and rifled, interestingly, despite being blank firing guns. Uh, but they don't, the, the diameter of the fake bullet is five and a half millimeters. So you see these referenced as either 6.5 or 5.5 22 caliber. Uh, and I should point out that there were some other patterns ma manufactured by other companies that used, for example, 6 millimeter Flaubert uh, or uh, it, other types of blanks. So there, there's a variety of these. To dig into the history a little bit more, the OMB, the, the Balila National Organization, was first formed in 1926. These carbines didn't actually begin to be produced until 1931, and the first ones were actually ordered from FNA Brescia. They would produce about 50,000 of them. Uh, in 1932 a second major manufacturer was added, and that was the Grazian Brothers, which is what we have here in, t in today's examples. And Grazian would make them starting in 1932 and running until, I believe, 1942 or 43. 
In total, Grazian made about 57,000 of them, and they were in fact the largest manufacturer. And there are two distinct patterns that they made. Their early ones have this lip at the back of the magazine well, which the later guns, like this one, do not. And I think part of the reason for this is that on the early guns this was a, like a pot metal casting that probably needed a little more material in it to be strong enough. Uh, late on they, they did have issues with these breaking, and so they switched to a more traditional machined steel uh, magazine well, which no longer needed to have that extra material in it. If we look at this up in a little more detail we'll see a lot of similarities to standard Carcanos, one of them being the flats on the barrel here are used to record information about the manufacture of the gun. So it's dated 1938 and XVI, XVI being 16, or the year of the fascist era in Italy. And we have our manufacturer's name here, Grazian of Verona. And then FMB, which I believe stands for um, uh, Patented Rifle Model in Italian. Now originally these would have had a square OMB crest on them, uh, but in 1936 uh, the OMB was replaced by the GIL, or Italian Littorio Youth. Basically a separate organization that did the same thing. And this has that GIL crest because it is 1938. So uh, when this was manufactured that was the organization that it went to. Now a lot of these also use a variety of bronze parts in a, in, instead of steel. Uh, and on this one in fact almost all of this is bronze. You can see some of the wear on the corners, the, the bronze kind of peeks through. Uh, these were all manufactured as what's colloquially known as the cavalry carbine, the, the fixed uh, you know, the attached folding bayonet version of the Carcano. And the bayonet is fully functional, it will lock out like so. There are recognized safety ha hazards of handing a bunch of 12 year old bayonets though, and so the tips were rounded on these, so they're not quite so stabby. The rear sights are actually marked and do function, so you can flip this all the way forward for the so on, you know, so called battle sight. Uh, even though this is a blank firing gun. The idea was to train kids in operation and handling of what would eventually be real carbines. And so no point in uh, skimping on the sights, you want to teach them how to use the sights. These Grazian pattern guns are actually serialized on the buttstock. So we've got this nice wooden uh, stock stamp that is Fratelli Grazian, or Grazian Brothers Verona. This gun is serial number 33,900. Our later example is very much the same in general. This is a 1941 production, but it's got the same markings on the barrel blank, the barrel flats. This one is right at the end of production, serial number 56,898. And this, al this one also still has the GIL acceptance stamp on the opposite side. Interesting to point out that on this 1941 late example they actually didn't cut a sight notch in the rear uh, the ramp sight there, although it does have the battle sight notch. These were set up to use the same style of sling as the normal 1891 Carcanos. Uh, very uh, remarkable to still have the original sling on this example, that's something you don't normally find. And it's of course, this one, this is actually stitched in place permanently, so it is not removable unless you actually take out the sling swivels. While Balila carbines aren't exactly super rare, they are rather difficult to find in good condition, like these two. So I uh, thought it would be a great opportunity to show you what they look like, sort of in proper condition, and also be able to compare an early and a late one for you. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video, thanks for watching.